Hello everyone. Welcome back to JD Bots. In this video, we are going to explore and create the OpenAI ChatGPT chatbot for the Microsoft Teams channel using Microsoft Bot framework. So, ChatGPT is a new revolution in the generative AI. So, why we stay behind when we can implement that using the Microsoft Bot framework. So as you already know, at this point of time, ChatGPT API is yet to be released. So we can use the OpenAI GPT-3 APIs like text completion to build our chatbot. So let's go ahead and set the things up. I'll be going through some of the first documentations. So this is the text completion endpoint that we'll be calling from our Microsoft Bot Framework chatbot. All right. So if you go to the API reference here and click on making request. So this is how we'll be making the request. This is our endpoint. This is the content type and authorization API key. API key, you can get it from here. View API keys under your profile. And this is the rest request body. It has some required fields. That is, what is the model that you want to interact with? Since we are interacting with the text DAVNC, which is the most powerful as of now. And we have to give the prompt that user has asked and the temperature and the max tokens, all right? So let's dive into. So yeah, so this is what we'll be building. We'll be making use of echo bot template. And this is what we modified that open AI. I just asked what is open AI. It gave me response. Even I can ask code. It gave me some response. I have set the max tokens to 100 words, 100 tokens. That is why it has just uh, given me only this, per this much response. But yeah, this is how it will be look like. Okay. All right. So let's dive into and create our project. And I'm going to make use of EchoBot template. And which is, I think, uh, EchoBot. Yeah, here it is. And let's give its name as chat gpt teams bot all right and let's create the new project all right so before starting let me run this project and show you in the emulator And here we have hello and welcome, hi, echo, hi. So this you already know. So now let's go ahead and modify our bot. All right. So these two methods you are only aware of hello and welcome. This is the welcome message. So I'm just going since we are developing it for the Microsoft Teams channel. So let us try to greet the user and hello and welcome and here we'll just let's store the user's response to input prompt so basically this property will be used to send to our open ai api and whatever user has asked we will be just storing that to this particular input prompt text and now we are going to call our method that is result response equals to let's call completion api handler all right and here we'll be passing our input prompt text and that is all 
so let me create a method out of this and since the return type will be a string it can be null as well if we are not able to communicate with the backend servers then we might get null as well all right and yep so let's add some try catch and also here let's add this condition if it is not equals to null what happens and if it is equals to null what should happen let's suppose if there is an exception then we can just send null and in order to handle that null we can just have a else part and we can send a response you know turn context dot send activity message factory dot text and here the response should be let me copy this and paste it here and here all right and here our response should be i am having some trouble communicating with our servers please try again later all right okay so this message will be sent to the user if you are not able to authenticate or some error occurred during our api call then we will show this message correct and now if at all everything is fine we'll just show the input not input basically we have to show this message that is result response okay all right and let's get rid of this particular response and here we can just call the, our api right so i already have a piece of code which before that uh in our app settings.json file we have to add few configuration for our open ai and let's say completion endpoint here we have to add our completion endpoint and here we will store our api key okay so let's get the completion endpoint so i'll go to the docs and here under api reference making request so this is the one for the completions and api they are like others as well based on the models and this based on the like if you are generating an image then you can use the image generation endpoint yeah by the way let me show you that this is my image generation. This is being developed using the same OpenAI image generation API. And I can just ask anything to the bot. For example, a smart phone dancing in the rain this is my input prompt and let's see what image is generated by this bot okay it is processing something oh perfect it does something really cool smartphone dancing in the rain here we have some smartphone and some rain okay all right Basically, even this can be implemented in the same bot, but for now, we'll only focus on the chat GPT only for the text generation. All right. Yeah, so we were just getting this endpoint and paste it here. All right. Mm, okay, and yeah, I think that is all is required. Let me get the piece of code that is used 
basically that is uh, basically used to call the API in C sharp it's a um, common C sharp code and I'll get it from my own repository for the image generation bot and by the way if you're looking at this you can call this particular piece of code for the image generation as well this has been implemented so here I'm just creating HTTP client and here we have to include our configuration to include our configuration let's initialize that into the constructor all right now we will be able to access all the configuration property from our bot source code so let's say configuration and this is how you can extract here you just have to add the key since our key is open ai and this inside open ai we have completion endpoints so first you have to include open ai colon completion endpoint all right and this is a content type application slash json and here you have to include your api key again same way and this is api key all right and this is the place where you since this is a post request you have to mention that and this is where we create our body content so let's go to the official documentation and let's copy the whole and replace it here all right so this is the model that we are currently targeting text davinci 003 and currently it's the most powerful gpt3 model and we have to pass the prompt let's get it from my parameter that is input prompt text and temperature and max tokens let's keep it 100 for now okay and yeah so this is the place where it sends the response since this is a asynchronous method let's add that here we are just checking if success status is there and just storing the response into a string variable and then converting that response to a json object to parse the json properties so before passing that let's add one more condition if json object is not equals to null and one more property if we are able to get the response property if not equals to null this is for the image generation let us see for the text completion so this is a sample response that you will be getting and your response is under choices under choices it's a array under array first element and we have the text so let's include that choices and we are first checking if it is not equals to null then we will store that here let's directly return that return string json object choices the first element and text all right then let's get rid of all of this piece of code that was only for the image generation bot then we just return null all right if we do not find this property we return null okay and yes we are done with this one let's test this out on the emulator first and then we will try to deploy it to the microsoft teams i think for the microsoft teams you can look at my previous series uh what was that enterprise bot series for working with microsoft teams 
but I think for now let's first test it on this one uh, emulator because if we are doing for the Microsoft Teams we have to create all those different resources Azure bot resource and connect that to channel and many other configuration yeah so let's first test it on emulator it will not work let's see the error message because we haven't provided the API key and let's ask something who are you let's let's ask something wait what is open AI and here you see I am having some trouble communicating with our servers please try again later so this is an error response that we have provided because we haven't given the API key so let's add that API key let me create a new secret And let's add it here all right now we'll be able to communicate with our bot let's restart the conversation let's first greet the bot hi oops it is its response is in this one code because once I have asked the bot to basically give a C sharp code but let's see how are you I am doing well thank you how about you I am also fine that's great okay let's ask something else uh, do you what do you know about what do you know about AI future okay AI expected to have a major impact on the future of humanity I expect to and yeah since I have included max token as hundred so it is just giving me under hundred tokens if I modify that to let's say even you can configure the max tokens just add the new property here let me modify that to let's say 10 let's see how it behaves for the 10 tokens what do you know about AI bots okay perfect so it has given me a response within that 10 tokens that's pretty cool and very exciting okay this is all about if you want to deploy this bot to the microsoft teams channel like how i have done it you can visit my previous enterprise bot series and learn it from there okay all right see you Thanks everyone.